but basically any time that you need to share a mailbox, unfortunately, what most people do is they share the password to that mailbox. And mailboxes are something that most people most people don't keep tidy. So most people with a shared mailbox will just share the password and let multiple people log into that. But that's a big no-no. If you've got somebody who's logged into that account and I don't know, maybe it's a past employee and they've now left the business. Maybe it's someone individual on your team whose computer has been compromised. It's not ideal for you to have a exposed in plain text to your team members and it's not ideal to share a mailbox so google have this feature called delegated mail which is very cool and the delegated mail feature allows you to sign in to another mailbox without having to know the password which is great now it only works inside your domain you can't do it with a mailbox outside your domain but i'll show you what it looks like inside my account i'm going to open up my gmail here and all I need to do is click onto my profile picture, which is where I would usually go if I knew the password. And some of these external accounts, I do know the password. But have a look here. We've got three accounts that say delegated next to them. And delegated means that I have delegate access to these without having to know the password. So I can click one button here and go into admin and itgenius.com. It's going to open in a new tab, and then I can access that mailbox without having to know the password. Now, super, super handy feature. This is great if you have a virtual assistant who needs to manage your inbox. This is great if you have a shared mailbox that two or three people need to access. This is great if you wanna have an archive mailbox set up. You'll see this is one of the features that we set up here is an archive mailbox. So when any employees leave the company, we migrate all of their email into the archive mailbox. And so it's like one big dumping ground of all of the past history of email that is accessible by me. If I need to go in there and search, I click one button, I'm into the archive mailbox. And then from there, I'm able to access all of our past employees history, right? So we've got all the past staff and all of their mail sitting there. So that's called delegated mail. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. So the first thing you need to do is just check that it's switched on in the admin panel. You can search for mail delegation inside your admin panel. Usually the easiest way to find it, but it's in the Gmail settings. And you'll see here, it's this button here. Let users delegate mail to other users in the domain. You wanna make sure that's switched on. And do you wanna give people the ability to show who sent the email? If I have my assistant replying to emails on my behalf, that's Gypsy. And you know maybe she makes a spelling error every now and again. I want my customers to see that this looks like it came from Peter, but it was sent by Gypsy. There's a little tag that appears on the top of emails. That's what that little setting is for. Okay, so how do I then share or delegate a mailbox? Well, first I've got to log into the mailbox that I want to share. So I'm going to start with my mailbox here and I'm going to use the example of sharing it to my executive assistant. If I wanted to share the sales mailbox or the info mailbox, I would first log into that mailbox and share it back to myself. But we go into our settings, we go to see all settings, and then we go to accounts, and you'll see here, grant access to your account. Now, if you've only just switched on the admin setting, this can take five or 10 minutes before it shows up, but here is where I can add another account and share my account with someone else in the business. I can choose whether or not it marks the you know conversations as read and things like that. So. What this solves and what this fixes is it, it fixes the problem where multiple people are sharing an account, one account gets compromised, and then what happens when one account gets compromised? Well, immediately, people start looking through the chat logs, people start looking through the emails, and they find out your history of your business. They find out the conversations that you have internally. They find out who's the boss, and they find out who your suppliers are. And from there, they can start to create sophisticated social engineering attacks. And the most basic, most common, but very, very unfortunate for small business owners, how easy it is to do this, is they will use a real supplier's name, they will use a real staff member's account or a shared account, maybe the accounts at yourcompany.com account. They'll email you, the business owner, and say, hey, this project is delayed using the name of a real client or a real project. We need to make X payment to X supplier using an amount that you may have sent previously to that supplier using a supplier that you already know based on your company's history. And they'll say, if this isn't made today, hey, I know you're super busy, please make this payment today, right? It will look like a message from your staff. It will literally come from their account. You go into your bank, you authorize the payment, boom, money's gone because you didn't check the account number, 
right? So that's not the only kind of phishing attack, but these kind of attacks are basically what's left wide open when you have accounts potentially compromised internally. So that's why something like this is very, very important. It seems like a small thing, but this is the simplest way for somebody to get in. And they will literally come from an email address within your company. That's the crazy thing. It's not even someone spoofing or pretending to be one of your email addresses. It's actually from one of your accounts. This is how you share an account because I know this is really popular, particularly that many people are you know, employing someone to help out with your email. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.